Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose and how to fix a fast blinking situation. If you're using your right or left blinker and it's blinking fast, let me demonstrate. So when we put on the left blinker, you can see that it's blinking really, really fast like that. The right blinker is blinking normally. All right, so let me show you the steps and what you need to do to check to see exactly what's causing this. So this is what it looks like from the front. So we can see that both of the bulbs and the uh, parking and the side marker lights are both working. So it's not those bulbs. So if we go to the right side of the truck, we can see that this is how it's supposed to be blinking, just for reference. We see that the trailer LED lights or the ramp LED lights are blinking. And hopefully you can see that on the camera because the sun is really bright, but um, we have proper blinking in the rear on the right side. All right, so what do we do? How do we fix this? Well, the very first thing that we need to do is we need to remove the uh, left side tail light and look and see if the uh, bulbs are burned out. All right, so these are very easy to take out. You just need a Phillips screwdriver. And there is one Phillips screw at the top. And then one down here at the bottom. Once we do that, just take the tail light assembly and just pop it out like that. Now there are two tabs here and here that are in the shape of an L. Those correspond to the places in the sheet, the square places in the sheet metal here and here. So I've got went ahead and turned the blinker assembly or the uh, left blinker back on. As you can see, there's nothing happening. So. Uh, we need to do just a little bit of diagnosis first. Let's, um, let me wiggle the connector and we'll see if the lights come on and off. All right, so I am wiggling the wiring harness, the connector. We got nothing. So before we do anything else I'm gonna turn the parking light on and let's see if that gives us any power to our uh, parking bulb and consequently you could also turn the headlights on doesn't matter you can just turn the parking light on Nothing. All right, so uh, let's do a little bit of uh, surgery here. All right, so I took the uh, connector out so I could uh, do this in the shade, but I'm just gonna take a quarter inch nut driver and we're gonna remove these two hex head uh, bolts or screws. And what this is going to do is it's going to expose the three bulbs that are inside this assembly. And then this just lifts right up like that. There will be a gasket underneath right here. So here are our three bulbs. Um, you can see that there's the parking uh, bulb, the brake bulb, and the rear uh, reverse bulb. So let's plug this in and see if these light up at all. All right, so I still have the blinker on, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug this in like this. Okay, you see that? See the bulbs are coming on? Now it's not blinking. 
but remember we have the parking light on so there's something something weird going on um, it's probably it could either be the wiring harness or it could be uh, this assembly right here and the way this feels I'm going to say that uh, it's probably the uh, assembly or the socket. Okay, so if I put a lot of pressure on there, you can see it's blinking. So it, we know it's not the bulb. So, what do you do in a situation like this? Well, I'm going to tell you uh, just from experience that uh, these tail lights right here. As far as I know, unless you can find a Chevy dealer that has these, uh, these are all made in Taiwan. I've had these on this truck for several years. And um, I had replaced, I believe it was another set of these. And you can test these if you want, but 99% of the time, it's the circuit board in here. So um, I also have a problem. I don't it's this one or the, or the other side where the tail light's actually coming apart. Probably the other side. Uh, but anyway, these are uh, these are only like uh, 60 bucks for two of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just replace the tail light assembly and we'll see what happens. All right, so. This is the brand new taillight assembly. Um, it's the exact same brand. There's no, there's no difference whatsoever. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, let's plug this in and see what happens. So I put the uh, plug the taillight in and look what happens. We have a uh, normal blinker function. Let's um, turn the uh, light off there and just see if it, so everything's blinking as normal. All right, so to uh, reinstall this, we have the two tabs, one here and one here, and they just fit into these sheet metal slots. So you just angle this, get them in that first, and then just rotate it in like that. And then we'll uh, go ahead and attach our screws. All right, so uh, here's the uh, brand new one. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna remove the two Phillips screws from the side. Pop it out. the connector loose okay so this one's good I'll, I'll keep this one as a spare just in case and we will uh, get the connector back in All right, so before I uh, bolt it in or screw it back in I'm gonna turn the blinker on make sure it's good all right. All right, so I see a lot of these old Chevys the old old body style Chevys with these tail lights uh, on the road that have fast blinking problems. So always, probably I would say more times than not, it's usually one of the the one of the front blinkers bulbs that have uh, burned out, and it will it will give you that fast blink. Uh, but in my case, it was the circuit board for the replacement lens. So I don't know how long this circuit board will last. 
I think probably maybe five or six years ago I'd replaced them, but I'm gonna put a link down below on Amazon. Uh, that's where I got these from. Like I said, they were, I think it was less, I think it was actually 56 bucks or something like that for the pair, for both of them. So that's pretty good. Uh, they don't make, as far as I'm, I'm almost 90% sure you can't buy these, you know, your only choice is these parts from Taiwan. That's it, unless you can find one in a junkyard. But if you find an original one in a junkyard, it's prob the lens is probably gonna either be super brittle or cracked or something like that. So anyway, this, it's all right, as long as they work. So anyway, if you have that problem, check that out. And uh, hopefully yours will be an easy fix like mine was.